What's up guys? Nerdy Noob here and today I have a brand new unboxing video for you with a special guest. T! Hola! Que paso? Alright, in this video we're gonna be unboxing a brand new box. I showed T this box and she was really excited to unbox it with me. In this video we're gonna be unboxing the 2016 February Retro Pop Box 1980s. Oh yeah. This is a brand new box. I don't know how I found it. I think I just stumbled upon it. I don't think anyone actually told me about it. But if you go on their website, there's three different purchasing options. Although I just looked at it and now there's four. Basically, you can choose from getting 1960s, 1970s, 1980s, and they have a pre-order now for a 1990s box, which I might have to get depending on how good this box is. This box cost $20 plus $5 for shipping. So it was a total of $25. All right, I'll go ahead and put all the pricing details in the description below just in case you're interested in getting this box. Once we cut the tape and we open up the box, I hope it's not a disappointment. T's very excited, but I have no idea what's gonna be in it. Here we go. To the ma? <laughs> what? I don't know. To the ma? To the max! To the max! Oh, is this is That's Saved by X? the Bell! Saved by the Bell! Oh. Do you think it is? I don't know. I hope so. That looks like an eight. So, before we look into, before we untape this, I was born in 86, you were born in 85. 85. So, I consider myself like, I was into some of the stuff in the 80s, but I was also into a lot of the stuff in the 90s. At the time of purchasing this box, they didn't have a 90s option, so I went with the 80s because I figured I'd be into some of it. Actually, Saved by the Bell wasn't in the 80s, was it? Maybe it was. Uh, early 90s. Eight, maybe 89? No. 89. Probably saying. Yeah. That's so crazy. So the sticker says to the max retro pop box. I think that's in reference to Saved by the Bell. I'm not sure though. Oh, retro pop box fun fact. This was on the shirt, so I'm going to read it to you first. Although the first shuttle launch was in 1981, the shuttle program had a its establishment in 1969 and its development throughout the 70s. Its main function was as a low orbit reusable spacecraft that could conduct experiments and launch satellites, including the Hubble telescope, logo courtesy of NASA. I'm assuming this is gonna is be it, a NASA shirt? Well, this is a very soft feeling shirt. Oh, I like this kind of feeling. That's cool. What size is this? It feels hella small. Is this small? Can I have it? It's a medium. Oh. Yes. Dang. How is it? It's, it's really like a cool. navy blue shirt. It's pretty cool. I'll put it on the side. Oh That's yeah, really this cool. is super. I love it. Yeah. I love shirts that look like this. Kind of like old school. It looks like Tron. <laughs> yeah. Neat. Yeah, that's cool. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> um, we usually do the shirt last, but this is what the rest of the box looks like. So let's pull this out. So the next item I got is a Goonies item. It's a pillowcase. Long, oh, long I love pillowcases. Pillowcase. You want to open it? I no. don't start focusing because it's focused on your face. So oh. just block out your face. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, yeah, can I open it? Yes. That's awesome. <gasps> oh, I'm wait. so excited. Just, we, we, won't, we won't spoil. I like this box a lot. I'm so I excited. Like I can't too. wait to get, I might have to get all of the decades. This is Although, cool. All the decades. Oh gosh, it smells awful. Oh, wait, <laughs> 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 I can't handle the smell. I can't handle the smell. What? what is that? <laughs> it's so strong. Why does it smell like that? Maybe it's because of the plastic. <laughs> Ew! It's so strong. So, I've seen the Goonies, I think, twice in my life. I don't watch it that often. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I watch okay. a lot of 80s movies. I'm a big... I'm, I'm a big movie And I'm person. not. You guys know that. Would you like to have that for your new house? Yeah! Oh yeah! Okay. Well, CT so likes to do unboxing videos with me because she gets items. Alright. Oh my god, that smells so bad. Uh okay, the next item is Big League Chew, which this is awful. I loved I liked bubble yeah. tape growing up. This stuff made me gag. I didn't like really? the texture, like the little strips. For some reason, I could never handle Big League Chew. I love bubble tape, but Big League Chew, I could not handle it. So can I have this too? Yes, you can. <laughs> can you show them? So this is Big League Chew. This is like where the bubble gums in little like ugh. Just kind of thinking about it is really you're so yeah. weird. All right, well, next we got a notepad and it's for Joust. That's cool. I never played the game though. What's really cool is that all of the pages have the actual design because sometimes they they rip us off and they only put the design on the first page and then the rest of the pages have nothing. Really? That's yeah. For? Lately, that's been happening. So the last item, and I've already gotten this in one oh, of my boxes. Yeah. I have. This is a Batman multi tool. I actually gave the one that I got last time to T. So I must be. Um, good karma because they're good because I wanted it, but then she wanted it. So I was like, okay, you can have it So I got one for myself, which is neat. 
Okay, so that's all the oh, that's all the items that were in the box. They did give us a postcard. So what did we get? Let's do a recap. We got our NASA Space Shuttle exclusive T-shirt for the first launch that was in April 12, 1981. We got our Batman multi-tool. We got our Midway Games Joust sticky notes. We got our I Love Chunk pillowcase. Mm -hmm. And then we got our Big League Chew bubble gum. Uh, so... Five items for twenty-five dollars. Let's do a quick Wait, price. Wait, how much was it? It was twenty dollars for the box, five dollars for shipping, so twenty-five dollars total. That's pretty good. So shirt is ten dollars. This bat tool, I would give probably. $10. No, I wouldn't give ten dollars. I'd probably give six or seven, since T C I'll give seven because she said ten, but I I think more like six. But we'll give seven. So that's seventeen dollars. This I'll just give two dollars. So that's seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Pillowcases are freaking expensive. I would give that twenty. No. <laughs> is that expensive? That, that, is, there, is this a zipper pillowcase? Yeah. Oh, it's a zipper pillowcase? Yeah. That makes it a little bit more pricey. I'll give it nine. I want to give it ten, but I think that's I think that's overpricing it. God. What, what are we at? It's going to be Donald Trump to buy that. Ten. Wait, did you say the big lead shoe? I mean, this is like a dollar fifty. Yeah. So, let's see. I already lost track. Ten. This one's great flavor. Seven, 17, 18, 19. 21, no, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, $29. So any, around $29, I probably priced a couple of the things a little bit lower, so it might be a little bit more, but you get your value plus some, which is great. And it's, I like this box. Um, yeah. I like the way that it's just, they That's even cool. have it the like, it looks. I like the way it looks. I like everything about it, and I like that they have a 1990s box now, which I might go on and get. I probably will go on and get. I don't know if I would get the 70s, the 60s and the 70s, because I'm really not into, like, that old school type of stuff. But I think yeah. I wouldn't mind getting the 80s and the 90s box, because that's the stuff that would really, really fit me. I was totally wrong about the sticker BT dubs. I really thought that it was going to be a Saved by the Bell reference. I think that's more 90s. Yeah, that's probably more 90s. Because Full House started in 89. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know. The when, bill. I, don't, I don't. I don't know. I'm not sure. Up. Anyways, uh, I like this box. Good value. I like this stuff. In this box specifically, you know, I wasn't a giant, huge fan of the Goonies. So, but I love pillowcases. I, I love the Goonies. I've told you guys That's this before. Not many boxes give you pillowcases. I don't. This is my second pillowcase I've ever received, and I love it because it's so like useful. Like everyone uses pillowcases, right? You know, so you really can't go wrong with that. I'm excited that I got another bat tool. Sticky notes is whatever and the big lead chew is whatever for me but I also like the shirt design so at the end of the day I like this box I can't wait to keep getting it and maybe get like items in it in the future that I'm like really really into because that's going to be crazy um if I had to rate this box I would give this box a I would give it a four out of five noobs you probably would give it more because yeah, yeah which is fine five. I like it. you give it five yeah. see so like I, T likes every single item in this box and so obviously it's going to call out to her more um like I said I'm not a huge fan of every single I'm a fan of the stuff I'm just not a fan of all of the themes really just book I mean there's only five items so it's you know so you're gonna so you're gonna get an next one right yes I already have it. it's a monthly subscription that I have but I'm gonna add a 90s box, That'd I think, cool to my too. thing. Cause yeah. I think I I think for me, you know, people always people my age always kinda look at it like, oh am I an eighties baby or am I a nineties baby? I was born in eighty six. T is probably more 85. of a an eighties baby than I am, obviously, because yeah. she was five still in the eighties yeah. and I was only four. So I sometimes I consider myself more of a nineties kid. Only because I like the stuff. It's kind of weird. I don't know how you really figure that kind of stuff out. I don't know. I think it's what you... Like, I hate when people were born in 89. They're like, I'm an 80s baby. And it's uh, like, I mean, you were born in 80s, in the 80s, but you don't necessarily like anything that was in the 80s. Yeah. So there's some things that I like that were in the 80s, and then I like a lot of stuff in the 90s. And honestly, I like a lot of stuff that's in the 2000s. So, yeah, there's a lot of things I liked about the 80s. Yeah. I think that's why... You've always been kind of more old school yeah. retro in that sense, though. So, it makes sense that she likes this box. So, T gives it a, f a 5 out of 5 noobs. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, you should check out my channel. Oh, yeah. I have a whole bunch of videos on there. It's really great. Oh, yeah. Fun times, for sure. Oh, yeah. And make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to hit 4,000. I'm at like 3,800 right now. So still have a long way to go. But 
yeah, subscribe if you'd like to. Um, let us know in the comment section what you thought about this box. I'm interested to hear. I know I have a, I have a lot of like young viewers and I have a lot of like older viewers. It's kind of a weird mixture of people that watch my videos. So I feel like the older viewers might really like like this box and I'm sure my younger viewers are gonna be like what the hell is that stuff so let me know what your thoughts are about it um, I would definitely recommend I know I've only had this for one month but I like the value in it and I just like the idea I like the concept of the box and I'm sure a lot of you guys will like the concept especially if any of you guys are like 60s or 70s babies you might really love it um, and then like I said they just have a they have a pre-order for the 1990s so for those of you who are a little bit younger um, yeah good box and remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. T's only doing one video with me, just this box specifically, because she really wanted to. So she won't be in any of the other videos, so say goodbye to her. Goodbye. Adios. I should make you disappear. Bye, T. Oh, do you want to be part of that? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys later. Have a great night. Bye. Bye. Chicken dinner. Uh, 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 uh. See you guys later. Bye. That was fun. That's a good box. I know, right? I like it. Maybe you should just come back so you can unbox this one all uh, the time. Retro one? Yeah. Good night. Good night. It is. I'm not really a special guest anymore. You are, because you're not in every single one of my videos. Oh, okay. Have you been drinking? I have not. Oh, wait. <laughs> you still like a thought. Really? I had a beer at dinner. Oh, a beer. All right, T has to go now. See you later, T. Oh wait, not yet, not yet. <laughs> like right, the okay. I know. I'm gonna like, like. Oh, oh, is my wand over there? Uh, don't use the wand. Okay, okay, okay. All right, guys, say goodbye to T. I thought you were gonna do the the the, the, the I thing. Are you doing uh, the I love genie thing? Okay, do the I love genie thing. No. Do you want to just? What? Would you, how about you just do the I love genie thing? Are your arms in the, the frame? Like this? Yeah, isn't it like... Isn't that how she does it? <laughs> I don't, that how she does I don't it? know. Either. That's how she... Why I would just, you bring it up? I just did the same thing like no, this. No, she starts like this. She goes... Bye, T. <laughs> <laughs> um, bye, audio. It's...